If anyone, according to you, can identify as a woman, anyone can, right? I, I don't see a problem with that. Just literally put the hand up and say, I'm a woman. But it, it's not an easy thing to do to go out into Actually, the world. It's very easy. Very easy. Okay, why can't I identify as a black lesbian? <laughs> well, firstly, I mean, it was. Well, I'm serious. Her. I'm serious. If I can identify as anything mm -hmm. without any need to prove I'm actually what that is, I, I why can't I, on International Women's Day, say, I'm Piers Morgan, I'm a black lesbian? I think taking it to a kind of absurd no, status no. I think, where I think we're that's talking what you, about quite a, a With respect, I think that you have already opened the absurdity door by saying it is limitless. You can do what you like. Anyone can say, I'm a woman. So I simply ask you, why can't I? I don't know how she's determining whether it's an easy thing or a hard thing to do. Today, I identify as a white woman and no one could stop me. And if you do, you're a bigot. Is your life better? Are you happier? Is, is everything better now that you're slightly smaller than you were before? Absolutely. And I'm not a little bit smaller. I'm a lot smaller. I can still have kids and that may not have happened if I had stayed the size I was. Like, my question to you is, can you honestly say that you are... 100% happy and healthy. Um, I think it's really interesting that I feel like I need to justify my existence in this room. No. I just think that, the, the, that this is a, this, the way the discussion is running is very indicative of the general prevailing attitude towards fatness and the refusal to even accept that potentially there can be other ways of living as a hell, in a healthy up, body. I just want to know what what are you what are you eating? Like I just want to know, and I'll tell you what I eat, and we can. And, work and out. so that's what it comes down to. Like you're, what you're saying well, is you incredibly, you do like it's it's such a small equation that you you want to know what I eat. I eat that's salad, okay. I eat meat, like, I eat carbs because they don't agree with me. Um, I, you know, I, I eat a lot of fruit and vegetables. I'm primarily vegetarian. We are so far gone in this society that we're literally arguing whether being obese is healthy. This is how far gone we have come. Where these people that majority of the times if you were to look out into the world and see older people do you usually see people who are her weight and are elderly at the age of 80 70 60 you don't once athletes have an unfair advantage rich guys are typically a little bit stronger a little bit larger a little bit taller uh, it can give them a large advantage when you're looking at something like that some women are naturally very strong and if you compare the blood work and you're just looking at that, if they're on the same level, in my opinion, there just isn't an advantage. No matter what I do in a sport, we'll always automatically assume that I have an advantage, but they're not taking into account hours that I put in. Not only are we saying that overweight people can be healthy, now we're also saying that women in general are as strong as men. This is the West and this is how degenerate that they've become. Last question, what was the first thing you noticed about me? First thing I noticed? Be honest, completely honest, because your ick was honesty. Are they real? Made me question his misogynistic mindset though with the last comment people in society today are honestly npcs she asked him to be honest he was honest and then she calls him a misogynistic person these people are npcs and they just say whatever social media programs them to say what's up guys this is will Will with prager you and we're here on rodeo drive talking to people about whether or not children can choose their own gender let's do it do you guys think an eight-year-old can choose their own gender if they want? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they can decide what they want to wear and like who they want to be. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's a, you know, it's something that you feel in your heart. I believe an eight-year-old is a child of God, so consequently, choices are theirs. Before we get back into the video, I need all of you to turn on your post notifications so that you get notified when one of my videos come out. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the video if you enjoyed the video, comment down below. I'll try and reply to as many comments as possible and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Yinka, that guy. Let's get back into the video. Yeah. Maybe they just want to fulfill their wishes if that's what's going to make them happy. Yes, an eight year old is mature enough to decide if they want to be male or female or cis. Here we go again with these confused adults. These are supposed to be the people who are actually smarter than the ones who are younger than them, being the children, which they are asking questions about. But they say eight-year-olds should be able to do what they want. I wonder if they would say yes to the same thing if we were to ask them, can eight-year-olds get tattoos? Can eight-year-olds smoke? Can eight-year-olds drink? Can eight-year-olds engage in sexual acts that adults engage in? I wonder 
if they would say yes to all of that because eight-year-olds apparently have autonomy and whatever they feel they should be allowed to do, right? Sort of trans, whatever it may be. Yeah. Would you say like a five-year-old too? Um, a five-year-old? Um, I don't know, it depends. I don't remember what it's like to be eight years old, yeah. but I just remember doing whatever I wanted to do instinctually. When I was eight years old and I told my mom I wanted to be a dragon, my mom was like, no, you're a boy. You yeah. can't be a dragon, you yeah. know? Yeah. And so it's like your parent kind of has a responsibility that if you're a child and you say you want to do something, to then tell you, no, you can't actually do this. You know what I mean? Exactly, exactly. yeah. If your heart feels like you are this a gender at this point of life and you decide to change later in life, then that it is what it is. Yeah. I want to note also another thing. All of these people who claim we all have autonomy and we should be able to do what we like with our own bodies are the same people who are all surprisingly, but not surprisingly, wearing masks in this video. And they would obviously be the same people who would have told other people what they can do and what they can't do with their own bodies by telling other people that they should wear a mask. But here they are saying that eight-year-old should be able to decide their gender because people are free to do what they want to do right until they disagree with you that's when they don't want you to do what you want to do with your body but if you change let's say you change at eight years old and you were a boy and then you chop it you can't really go back and change it again oh that's far i never really thought about that but would you say though that an eight-year-old has the I guess cognitive ability or maturity to make a decision of such a magnitude to decide oh, their own absolutely not because I'm 28 years old bro and I'm nowhere near the level of maturity. Because eight year don't even know like what life is about yet. <laughs> you eight. Because you're eight years old. You're a child. You don't know about all that. A lot of those decisions, as a little kid, they don't understand the full like capacity of the decision that they're making at that age. I honestly don't think at eight years old you even know what you want out of life. It's like yeah. we're still learning like now. We don't even know like a lot. And you make so many decisions, you change all the time. At eight years old, what did you want to be? What did I want? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I was playing with Barbies. I might have wanted to be like a model or something. And now I'm like, mm, I don't know about that anymore. Yeah. To be a dragon at eight. I don't. It's not going as well as I would have hoped. My career plans have changed a little bit. We got a pretty mixed bag of answers today, but I would say most people agree that an eight-year-old does not have the capacity to be making life-altering decisions like choosing their own gender. And parents should definitely not be pushing this onto their children. Yeah, that's absolutely crazy. There were a few people in the video at the end I noticed that were saying that, yeah, they shouldn't be able to. They probably asked some questions which prompted them to answer otherwise but it's very interesting how these people are so quick to say that eight-year-olds should be able to do what they want to do with their body they don't even do it with thought which is the crazy thing and these are supposedly adults these are supposedly people who are educated and i put educated in inverted commas because these people just go to college get their degree and they don't even know about life itself which is why they come out with this degenerate things such as saying that eight-year-olds should be able to transition when that is just absolutely stupid but anyway that was another video another reaction as i usually say if you guys enjoyed the video like the video as much as possible comment down below subscribe to the youtube channel follow me on instagram and twitter i yinka that guy and i am out